Welcome to another drawing challenge. <laughs> I am Monster D, and uh, there is a very good chance this may be my most controversial drawing challenge yet, for I am going to create a monster inspired by a true pestilence on the land. Uh, one that draws great, incredible ire by local insect enthusiasts and gardeners and farmers everywhere, and that would be... The spotted lantern fly. Oh, oh no! <laughs> I am sorry, but this horrific little creature is going to inspire a drawing today. So, <laughs> if you're ready for a monstrous menace, here is my time telling device. And I'm going now. So, have you had the, I suppose, unfortunate uh luck of having run into this creature the spotted lanternfly so this thing to everyone's best knowledge hitched a ride over into the u.s in 2014 this is a native uh, asian species of a few countries and islands but uh to everyone's knowledge it made its ride over in some imported plants and has been slowly sort of conquering the landscape as it goes so supposedly is a big fan of a number of fruit trees and uh yeah has caused quite a stir in the local uh, sort of pennsylvanian community here <laughs> uh Apparently, it does multiply quite quickly and moves steadily. Although the interesting thing about that is, while it does have wings and is capable of flight, its flight is relatively awkward, uh, choosing mostly to sort of hop and do sort of low wing-assisted, you know, sort of glides and low flights instead. So it is almost a surprise that it even could uh proliferate so quickly in those sort of conditions but it does what it does <laughs> so yes so yeah I, I started seeing articles about this creature right around the time it, it first started uh it, it was first discovered to be in the u.s and uh you know the first thought that i had is the thought is the thought that nobody wants to hear is uh this creature actually looks quite beautiful <laughs> it uh it, it's a sight to behold for sure uh it's pretty uh dare i say it but um i understand the worry of those who have livelihoods depending upon agriculture and, and the scare there which is why i think something like the lantern fly is a creature that we can all learn from we can learn some lessons you know and that is what makes it a great subject for a kaiju because kaiju have that ability to be uh sort of uh evocative of life lessons and warnings and fables you know we, we can learn from this and, and improve you know, so whether or not we are able to defeat <laughs> this uh, winged threat uh, remains to truly be seen, uh, as many efforts to call it ha have, have been under underway. But as I stated, this thing has been here since 2014, so I I'm not sure how quick it is to uh, vacate necessarily. But it helps us to think, you know, how, what are our sort of methods like in transporting goods from various places can, can are there ways to increase security there and to make things safer or uh, are the things that we are important importing the things that we really want are, are they even really that necessary at all can, can some of these things just not make it here i mean there are so many sides to take with that i mean being a lover of food and uh produce from different lands you know I, I hate to see certain things go uh, and not make their way here uh but would also understand uh, a need and desire to do that such a complicated thing and that, that is the thing with science that is the thing with science fiction 
is, uh, you know, difficult questions, difficult situations are brought up and talked about and discussed. And we find ways, we hope to find ways to sort of come together on these issues, help one another and to learn. Now, I have no personal hate towards the lanternfly. It is a natural creature in its own habitat. It is probably a relatively harmless creature. I mean, it kept in check by local predators and just doing what it does. Uh, but when moved to a foreign land, things are different. And uh, this is not a whole lot different than some other uh, creatures that have been introduced in other lands, whether artificially or accidentally. Uh-oh. Oh, you know, I am sorry, but I know the time is out, but I, I still have to add the color because that is one of the marquees of the spotted lanternflies, this, these bright red underwings. So I'm going to go ahead and add those and then call it. Add the eyes, eye color. There we go. And then <laughs> that is my lantern fly monster. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> is this uh, the one kaiju that truly gives you chills and terrifies you? <laughs> is this thing going to keep you up at night, uh, night? What are your thoughts about the lantern fly? What are your suggestions on? ways to deal with it and, and, and to uh, potentially solve this problem? Or, or do you have an opinion at all? Uh, do you agree with me in that, that, you know, despite the trouble they cause, they do have a certain level of uh, beauty and elegance to them? <laughs> well, let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are. And uh, I thank you for watching this drawing challenge. Uh, if you enjoy it, please do hit that like button and toll that bell so you can be ready, willing, and salivating for the very next drawing challenge stay monstrous Bro.